Here we go, Southpaw versus the traditional stance. Cajun actually have a nice jab. Looking pretty lucid with his hands. Nice, oh, nice straight quick right. right hand. Very focused, those punches. Mm -hmm. Good, good, fast punches. This fight is taking place at 160 pounds. Light, quick fighters. I'm actually impressed with the hands of uh, Cajun. Robert Huggins, a good front kick right there. Nice kick, but he is in danger when he does that, dropping his hands. Mm -hmm. Cajun's doing a good job of attacking that right eye. Oh, right hand. Huggis needs, a, needs to get a oh, hold oh, of him. Oh, 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 Cajun is all over him. Huggis going for that leg. Oh, good. Oh, Cajun showing some experience Good there. plan right there. Taking on oh. the black belt. Look at that. And Robert Huggis better get his hands up. Huggis looks to be in trouble now. Good. Cajun relaxed. Movement. Great movement by Raging Cajun Johnson. Nice straight right. Nice straight right. Yeah, Huggis is really out of his element right now. He's got to get this down to the ground. Seems to be doing that. Oh, he misses the throw. Look for Cajun to stand this up, though, as quickly as possible. Yeah, Cajun standing up. Not even going to play the game. Not even going to play the game with him. Yeah, Cajun needs to continue to work those hands. That's Great three-punch combination there by Cajun Johnson. Nice. Oh, oh he went missed. for the home run right there. I'm, act, I'm really, really, really impressed with Cajun's ring skill, the way he's moving right now. Well, Robert Huggins is a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but in order to make that work, he needs to get this fight to the ground. And Raging Cajun Johnson is not going to stay in no. the guard, so basically Robert Huggins is going to have to get a takedown and be on top to yeah. implement his game plan. He is a fish out of water right now. Oh. And this fight's going to turn real ugly real quick. Rage and Cajun Johnson have been spending some time in the boxing gym. Yeah, I would have to say he probably has the best hands we've seen tonight. Nice straight right. Oh, nice left by Robert Huggins. And look at this. He got the oh, takedown now. On top in the half guard. And could be in some trouble here. Could you imagine if, if uh, Robert Huggins is able to finish the fight here? I, I can. I can see it happening. It'd certainly be a disappointment for Raging Cajun Johnson, who was doing so well. But yeah. look at this. He's actually in trouble. He has the far right underhook, doing a good job of controlling. Past the guard already. Yeah, this is just a perfect example of the dichotomy of the sport. Robert Huggins needs to needs to get on top of him right now. Absolutely. Why would he give him the opportunity to stand up? He needs to get back to the guard, work some ground to pound and pass oh, the guard. Oh, he got Cajun. Cajun's back up. I don't think Robert Huggins did the right thing in that. No, he did not capitalize on his opportunity at all. Oh, nice shot. Good timing on that shot. Mm -hmm. That's more out of desperation, I think, than anything. Well, Raging Cajun really came in and uh, Seems like he overcommitted on those punches and Absolutely. left his hips exposed and really had no defense for that takedown. That's the first time he's done it all night. It's a little bit of a stalemate now. Not a whole lot happening from either uh, fighter. Robert Huggis now on top, pushing his opponent up against the fence. But these guys are definitely showing that they are, are, are skilled mixed martial artists mm -hmm. in all aspects of the game. Focus on top. Even though he is a BJJ black belt, I, he's really not. Taking advantage of the situation. He's got to push the action. Well, in. he pa passed the guard a couple times earlier in this round. Now he's stuck in the guard. You know, and look oh, at this. Oh, Raging oh, oh, Johnson. Oh, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh it. my goodness. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. The last thing expected. Ragin Cajun Johnson pulling off the arm bar. On the jiu-jitsu black belt. Raging Cajun Johnson, how is he 9 and 11? With skills like that, how can he have a losing record? He must be fighting some tough guys. Or he's improved tremendously. tremendously. And he is excited. Look at him. And he should be. 
Armbar, a uh, Brazilian a black, yeah. black belt. Armbar, a black belt. Dominated standing up. Great action here at Keith Absolutely. of the Cage Detonator. Eric Apple joined by Heath Herring, and you just witnessed a tremendous surprise there in that fight. Great, great fight. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that, uh, you know, debut for Robert Huggis, he ate some punches and some kicks, and uh, I think he really got out of his game plan and was mentally out of the fight very early. You know, thus exposed well, this just shows you, you've got to be good at every aspect of the game to be successful. Being a master in one area is not enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at four minutes and 29 seconds of the first round for the winner by submission from the red corner, Jack